Hi everyone, Rodney here. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be picking and announcing our Summoner Wars contest winner. Uh, but even if you weren't involved in that contest, I do hope you stick around because I'm also going to be giving the kids their uh, Indiegogo fundraiser perk that you guys helped me create. So I'm looking forward to showing you this and then bringing them down here and, and giving it to them. Uh, also, we have another Harvey Walters figure to give away. I'll talk to you about that in a second. And I also wanted to update you on the Indiegogo fundraiser. It's going really well, and uh, I just really appreciate all of your donations. There's 28 days left on it, so if you want to check it out, you can go to the, uh, the website. It's shown in the description notes here at the bottom of this video. As I always say, if you haven't been able to donate to the series, I just want to thank you for all of the great feedback that you guys give us over and over and over again. It really helps make everything that we do here feel like a very interactive experience. Uh, all the great feedback in the YouTube comments and on Facebook and Twitter, the emails, all of it's really appreciated. It really helps make everything that we do here um, just feel so much more meaningful, and I really appreciate that. And I hope that our feedback back to you uh, helps encourage that interaction as well. And not only are you writing us, but I want to play you uh, a quick clip. Um, this is from the Plaid Hat podcast. You're going to hear Colby talking. He's the founder of Plaid Hat Games uh, and the designer of Summoner Wars. So just take a quick listen here. Speaking of game media, Summoner Wars and Dungeon Run has shown up on a couple of things recently. Watch It Played has done Summoner Wars and Dungeon Run. And I've had more than any other bit of, and I don't know, I've never seen him talk about doing this on his show Rodney on Watch It Played, but more than any other time that it has appeared on any other piece of media, I've had people email me and say, hey, I bought all your stuff because of Watch It Played. Uh, so um, he's really got a big fan base that really, you know, has gone out of their way to let me as a publisher know that, hey, I, you know, I bought your stuff because of this guy. So uh, that was really cool. And uh, the details. I can say thank you, of course, and I'm going to keep saying thank you, but to hear that, to know that you guys are taking time out of your day to write a publisher, a publisher that you don't even know if that publisher is going to care that you're writing them, and tell them that in some way our show you know, maybe partially helped you decide about whether or not you wanted to purchase a game. I mean, that's... you got to remember, like, we're, <laughs> we're just a small family in a small community. I have no meaningful connection to the gamer culture at large outside of this video series. And, um, and to think that you guys want to partner with us, support us, and help us be whatever we can be with this series, it's, um, it's, it's overwhelming, it's awesome, and yes, again, thank you so much. Okay, so one last thing unexpectedly that I wanted to share with you. Uh, I say unexpectedly because Luke came home today um, and he said, Dad, I got something for you. And he asked me to go out of the room. And he emptied his bag and he brought me these rolls of penny, these hand rolls of pennies and a note. And this is from one of the kids in his class named Sawyer. And it says, your videos are awesome, Rodney. Hope this money helps. Sawyer is one of Luke's classmates. He has a twin sister, Kathleen, two older brothers, Milo and Marshall. They watch our series, and he wanted to contribute, in his own way, these pennies to help our show, which is just incredibly sweet, very touching, and I want to take this time on video to thank them and say hi, and thanks for watching. So I hope you guys don't mind that I took some time here to, to address them specifically. Um, but again, I just thought that was incredibly sweet and very thoughtful. We will use this money to help support the show, maybe buy a really cool game that uh, you guys might enjoy. So, so thanks again. All right, let's get on to some contests and some giveaways. So first up, we're going to give away another Harvey Walters figure. Now, why are we giving away another one? Well, uh, Thomas Metten, one of our viewers, who actually donated to a level where he would receive one of these anyway, um, he wrote me and he said, Listen, uh, I'd love if you give one of the ones you saved for me to someone else because I already have the full set of Arkham Horror miniatures. So how nice is that? He says, that, look, let's just give it away to somebody else. So I've still got all of the submissions to Harvey Walters contest, not including the ones we've already won. And I'm just going to go through these here and I'm going to pull one out at random. All right. And this will be our next winner. This is from, oh, shoot. Forgive me again, mispronunciation uh, to your name. Uh, Elgin or Elgin Rodriguez, um, you wrote, you guys are doing a great job. Keep it up and always have fun. 
You are the latest winner and you've won uh, the uh, Harvey Walters figure, which hopefully makes up for my terrible pronunciation of your wonderful name. I apologize for that, but uh, you do win this prize, so so that's fantastic. We still have a few left, probably give some more away, so don't don't lose hope uh, if you haven't won yet. Um, okay, so, so next up, remember uh, there was a perk, if we reached, I think it was the $4,000 level, as a token of appreciation, uh, put together a little gift from you guys and from me for the kids to thank them uh, for the time they've spent working on the series so far and gaming with us. And the idea I had was to take the names of people who wanted to send it in along with where they're from and then put dots on a map uh, and, and put a list of those names and, and put it together into a picture that they could each have. And so it would not just be a keepsake but it would really help them visualize uh, the, the bigger gaming community that we've all become a part of through this series. So uh, I've got those together. I'm gonna call the kids down now and, uh, and we'll give them this and, and hopefully they enjoy it and, and you guys get to see, see their reactions. Okay, so the kids are with me. I'm Andrea. I'm Luke. And look, let's just get right to it. I've already explained to them that they're getting a gift from the viewers and yep. from myself. And, and here's what it is, guys. We've got these pictures that have been done. Here's yours, Andrea. You can hold up, take a look. And this one's yours, Luke. Now what this has on it, we had a number of people write in and say where they're from. And everyone who could do it within a certain deadline, we put their, their names and little dots on the map to show where they're from. That's so cool! I know! <laughs> Oh and it's pictures you can hang it up in your room and people yeah. if they come visit you you can show them and explain that you're yeah. part of watch it played and there's a little message on the top here it's this thing i'm just going to turn this around so people can see what the kids are looking at um this is it here and i'll give you a close-up shot as well so we got the map and then uh superimposed on top of that are the names of the people who wrote in and and then there's little red dots everywhere and a nice little message on the top that says thank you luke or thank you andrea from the friends of watch it played so Thanks everyone for making Thank that you. happen. Thank you. Yes. That's yes. Awesome. <laughs> and, and now that we've given things uh, to the kids, it's time to give something away to one of you guys. We're having our Summoner Wars contest. This was really fun to do because we had fun uh, hiding the clues in each of the episodes, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah. Uh, and you guys did a fantastic job uh, finding all of the clues and then finding the answers to the clues. And we had... 74 people uh, submit to this contest. Oh, so just give me a second, I'm gonna clean off the table here and we'll get this thing ready. All right, so we're all ready to go here and this is what the winner's gonna get. Two of the starter sets. Not these two starter sets. No. Uh, these are our sets. You yeah. don't get these ones, no. <laughs> but uh, Plat Hat Games is generously donating two brand new fresh ones to give away to the winner. And uh, we're running this contest a little differently than the other ones we've run. Uh, I think the Harvey Walters contest, we probably killed about 10 trees with all the yeah. emails that we printed out. So instead, now I have a list of all the people who successfully entered into the contest, and there's a number beside each of the names, and we're gonna roll this 10-sided dice twice. Andrew's gonna do it first, then Luke. And we're gonna put the two numbers together to give us our winner. So for instance, if there was a four was rolled and then a six was rolled, that would be winner, would be number 46. So let's see what actually's gonna be. Andrew's gonna roll first. We have the dice camera on the dice box. Let's see what it is. The first number is seven. Ooh. And the next number is five. five. And the list only goes up to 74. So Luke, you're gonna have to mm -hmm. roll again. <laughs> Let's see who it is. It's three. a three. And the winner is Connor Milhoen, or Milhoen. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but either way, <laughs> you are the winner. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who submitted. And if you didn't win, sorry about that, but we'll try to have some more contests in the future and give you another chance. Until the next episode, thanks for watching.